We've just arrived at House of Lechon and there's a few seats outside you can see here but you can see it's one o'clock and it's really busy. So this is the skin here. Mm. That is delicious. It's really crispy. With some Filipino food, it's not too salty. Right then, so this is a very famous Filipino dessert called Halo Halo. Oh, it's very sweet, but very delicious. We've managed to jump on a jeepney, but there's no seats available. So I'm acting like I'm 15 years old again and <laughs> hanging off the back of the jeepney. <laughs> We're in Cebu City and in our last video we got a lot of comments of people telling us that the best place in the Philippines to try lechon is in Cebu. So we've done a little bit of research and we found out that it seems to be that there's three restaurants in Cebu City that are very very famous and popular and they are House of Lechon, Rico's and CNT. You guys have actually recommended Rico's a little bit more, but when we look on Google, House of Lechon seems to have the most reviews. So we've decided that we're gonna to go to House of Lechon and we're staying in an area which is called Banawa. It's gonna take us about 40 minutes to walk there, or if we're lucky and we flag down a jeepney, it'll take us about 10 minutes. But it's hot, so I'm hoping there's a jeepney comes along soon. But either way, it's just nice taking in Cebu City. If any of you have had lechon in Cebu, let us know which one you like the most and tell us why in the comments. We've just arrived at House of Lechon and there's a few seats outside you can see here. But you can see it's one o'clock and it's really busy. I think it opens at about 10 but we've probably come at the busiest time of day, which is good because there should be a really nice atmosphere. So I just want to tell you a little bit about lechon before we go in. So it's a full pig that is roasted on a spit. And I think here at House of Lechon, they've also got a spicy lechon as well. And we definitely want to try the spicy one. Let's go in and have a look at this menu. Hello. Do we, do we just take a seat here and wait for a table? Okay, thank you. Take, can we take a menu? Um, yeah, so we're, we're, we're just going to have, I think we're, we're going to have the spicy lechon. How spicy is it? Just a little. No, mild. Mild, that's yes, good. Mild's good. Thank you. Can we take a menu? Yes, Thank yes, you. Sir. Okay. So it's really busy. So there's a few seats that are set up outside, but we've got a menu and we can order our food while we're waiting for a seat. I'll show you this menu. Yes, it's Andrew. Thank you. Wow, just look at how busy this is. This just proves how popular and how delicious it must be. Thank you. Jimmy, you can have a look at the menu, but this is my idea. So I'm thinking to get this one quarter of a kilo for one to two people, 425 pesos of the spicy lechon. And then, I think, I don't want something else deep fried. So what I'm thinking is these vegetables in oyster sauce, they sound nice as a side. And maybe, do you want some rice as well? Yeah. And then there's some shakes at the bottom. I'm gonna have this, so I'm gonna have a mango shake. Okay, do you wanna have a look at the menu? Spicy lechon, this yes, one. Yeah. yeah, and also can I have these mixed vegetables? One mixed vegetables, right? Yeah. And the grilled pork belly. Yeah. Grilled pork belly, sir. Yeah. And one mango shake. Yes, sir. And one watermelon yes, shake. Yes, sir. And okay. how about for rice? And the rice, yes. yes. What, uh, what kind of rice? Are plain and rice or the garlic rice? What, we have the, we what's have the sagala rice? Plain, it's a uh, plain rice. Okay. In, anything mixed in the rice. Just plain rice is the thing. Okay. Just yeah. How many orders are Just one or just, just one? Yes. One order. Yes. Okay. Okay. I will just repeat your orders. Sir. One eight kilogram of spicy lechon, one order of mixed vegetables, one order of grilled pork belly, one order of mango shake and watermelon shake for drinks, and one plain rice. Good memory. Okay. Just wait for 15 to 25 minutes for serving. How long? 15 to 25. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank sir. you. Thank, Thank you. you.
he's got a good memory. He wrote, he got all of that, didn't write it down, but relayed it back to me. And I couldn't hear him perfectly because of the face mask, but I think it's okay. Okay, so we've got the grilled pork belly and we've got some mixed vegetables with oyster sauce. But I hope you can hear me okay because it is a little bit noisy in here because there's a lot of people. Um, but we're just waiting for the lechon, but we'll start. So we've got this grilled pork belly with the sauce. Can you smell the sauce? Soy sauce. So this is soy sauce. That looks very nice. Yeah, do you want to try first? Yeah. Oh. Thank you. 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 Oh, for two, but because we've got the grilled pork belly, we thought we'd just try with this, but then if we're still hungry, we'll just order some more. <laughs> right, you go first. Grilled pork belly. I knew that name in Filipino. The Empo. The Empo. Yeah. If I was wrong, please do correct me. <laughs> To use with hand, easy. Do you want to dip it in this soy yeah. sauce? Yeah. Oh, the sauce, right? Is it? Yeah. Compared to vinegar, it looks like every ingredient of Filipino food has always has the vinegar. But it tastes very nice. There's often a sauce that accompanies food with Filipino food as well, I think. Oh. Oh, that's tasty. It's a little bit spicy, but I like it. Yeah, it's a little bit salty as well. And I've found sometimes with some Filipino food, it's not too salty. And I have found sometimes with some Filipino food, it's not too salty, but it's a little bit salty. But then just mix that with a little bit of rice and it's perfect. Right, so with the lechon, apparently this is really crispy. So this is the skin here. Mm. Oh wow. Mm. That is delicious. It's really crispy. It's actually thick, probably as crispy as a crispy piece of bacon. Oh, that is delicious. It is spicy. Can you taste spicy? No. Maybe the, the maybe the pork itself will be spicy, but the skin. No, the skin doesn't taste spicy. Oh, Jerry, that's so nice. I can taste spicy after. Can try again, try again. Right. I'm going to try some of the pork. Actually, oh, maybe this sauce is spicy. Oh. Mmm. Guess what? We had adobo two days in a row recently. And adobo is de chicken adobo is definitely the best Filipino food that I've tried so far. But I have to be honest, my mind's torn now. That is spicy. I can feel it. But my mind's torn now. This is delicious. I actually think I like the skin the most. What about you? Yeah, it's the best part of the of something. Yeah, it is. That skin is amazing. I think this type of food you can buy in many countries around Southeast Asia. You can find something like this in Bali, pork sakli. Right. And uh, you can find this uh, in Thailand, in uh, Vietnam as well. But I'm not sure in Malaysia you can find that. Right. It's delicious. Yeah. So we won't record eating the whole meal. Um, so we're going to dig in and enjoy <laughs> this. But House of Lechon. Oh, 100% gets the thumbs up from me. Yes. 
as well. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Thanks for the cheesecake. Oh, here by one. That looks Take incredible. <laughs> Guess what? I'm so tempted to get one of these desserts. Look at this cheesecake. White chocolate cheesecake. That looks amazing. But the Ayala Centre is about a 10 minute walk from here. And we've been told by a lot of you in the comments that we must visit one of the malls while we're in Cebu. So hopefully we'll find a dessert at the Ayala Centre that's just as delicious as this. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Thank you for coming. Yeah, See you tomorrow. You. Thank you. Thanks very much. See you. Bye. See you tomorrow, sir. Thank you for coming. See you tomorrow. I mean, it was good enough to come tomorrow, but we've got lots of other things that we need to do and plenty of other things that we need to try. But honestly, you've got to try House of Lechon when you're in Cebu. It was absolutely delicious. Um, every single thing was gorgeous. In total, that came to 1,090 pesos, which was money well spent because everything was absolutely delicious. Um, I can only just say positive things about it. And if you're in Cebu, then I would say definitely make sure you visit House of Lechon. There are two, so we'll put the link in the description to the one that we came to. It was really busy, but if you want to come when it's a little bit quieter, I've heard that maybe about 11 o'clock, it's not as busy. But we're ready for a dessert now. So we're gonna to walk to the Ayala Center, which is about less than a 10 minute walk from here. Burn off a few calories and make a bit of space for a bit of dessert. Come on then, let's go. Wow, this looks absolutely huge. How many floors are there? One, two, three. There's three floors, but I don't know whether to go ahead, to the left or to the right. That looks massive. But I'm not interested in doing any shopping. I'm just interested in finding a nice cake or a nice dessert. I'll have a look and see what shops are here on the way. But, I want some cake. I think when we comparing the size to SM City, SMR cities. It seems see. bigger than that. Yeah, yeah this yeah. one is bigger, a lot bigger. But I think there's Ayala malls in different parts of the country. I think there might be an Ayala mall in Manila as well. I don't just think it's in Cebu. I've just spotted Chow King Chinese restaurant and we went there a few days ago and they sell hello they sell hello hello so we're gonna have a hello hello in here and see what that's like small enough I'm gonna have a medium <laughs> do you want to hold that Right then, so this is a very famous Filipino dessert called Halo Halo, and it's a combination of ice cream. It looks like there's some custard, some egg custard there, and some green jelly, some beans, and it is, it's filled with shaved ice, and then there's, a, is it coconut, like a coconut milk that's poured on the top of the ice? Just milk. Just milk poured on top of the ice. And I think you mix all of this together, but I'm just gonna try the ice cream first. Mm. Mm. I wonder what is the flavor of ice cream? Yeah, I think that. That purple. And then there's little bits of fruit in there as well. So there's little bits of banana there. Mm. And it looks like there's some little, some little bits of oats that are sprinkled on the top as well. Oh, it's very sweet, but very delicious. And I wouldn't usually think of having red kidney beans with a dessert. Jerry often has something like that in Thailand. And I always think of red kidney beans with chili con carne. But to be honest, in the halo halo, when you mix everything together, it actually tastes nice. What do you think? I think in Asian country, we eat that kidney bean as a dessert as well. Yeah. 
no wonder why the Filipino love it. Mm. Really nice. So that's the perfect combination for me. A little bit of lechon and then a halo halo. What we're gonna eat next? Oh! Pizza. No, there's actually there's a bakery that's famous in ah, the Philippines Julie. called Julie's. And we spotted this a few days ago and they sell homemade peanut butter. So we won't eat the peanut butter today, but we definitely want to get some peanut butter and some pastries for breakfast tomorrow. So we'll have this hello hello and then we'll go to Julie's. Honest verdict, I think it's absolutely delicious. But I think I would prefer it with less of the beans in. There's some white beans and some red kidney beans in there and just having a few is all right, but mine's got a lot in. And I think I'd prefer it without the beans, but other than the beans, it's delicious. It just seems weird for me. Um, just as an English person, I always associate beans with having something savory rather than sweet. I think if there was just like maybe like three or four in there, it's okay, but there's a lot in this one. When in Rome. When in Rome, exactly. We've tried this, we've tried this orange tang, so it's a powder that you just put into your drink. Funny thing is now, whenever I go onto YouTube, the adverts that are playing before I play a video, a lot of the time it's either Tang or Jolly Bee. Um, so these are really nice. Um, I think I want two orange, two pineapple. two pineapple, apple iced tea, we'll have two of them, two mango. Oh, there's so many ah, choice. Four season. Oh, there's loads. How much are the 20, 20 pesos? I think I'm going a bit crazy. Two orange and mango. One apple iced tea, <laughs> two pineapple, one orange because we've got orange and mango, one strawberry, and one lychee. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'll give me one for season. And I'll tell you what I have learned with these as well. They're really sweet, so the powder, you don't need to put much powder into your glass. Just put one spoonful into your glass, add the water, and then if you want to sweeten it afterwards, just add a little bit more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We may as well get ten. This is another one thing that I love in Philippines. Because in Thailand, you, you, you can't find this. There's melon. Do you want to try melon? Yeah. Or something different. Um, what's that? Oh, I'll... Dalandan. There's only one way to know. Yeah. Let's try it. <laughs> I saw another advert in somewhere in the big sidewalk over, uh, over uh, the road in Cebu City or somewhere about this brand. Tender the, Juicy. Yeah. I want to try. Yeah, I just got six. And corned beef is really, really popular <laughs> in the Philippines. So we're going to try and make a spaghetti bolognese with corned beef and with these tender juicy. Do you think it'll be nice? <laughs> Could be nice. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try. We've managed to jump on a jeepney, but there's no seats available. So I'm acting like I'm 15 years old again and hanging <laughs> off the back of the jeepney. <laughs> This is the last stop of today. This is Julie's Bakery. We've seen this everywhere. And a few people in the comments have said to us, you've got to try Panda Sal bread from Julie's. So we're going to see if we can find some of that. Do you want to ask for that bread? Panda Sal, I think. Panda Sal. Panda Sal. I think this one. I think, I it's, a, I think it's a little bun. 
will fail. Yep. You think the little one? I think it's a really small one, but I'm not one. sure. Uh, excuse me, what is this? Oh, that is panda yes, cell. Yes, oh, yes. okay. Uh, you want one or two? Uh, get four. Uh, four, please. Four. And a peanut butter, and I'm going to give you the money. So there's some homemade peanut butter down here. I'll just, yeah. just check the price of that first. There's breakfast sorted for tomorrow. Four panda cell, and I'm going to get some homemade peanut butter. Again, I've heard that this peanut butter is delicious, so we have to try it. And can I have one peanut butter? What, one, one small peanut butter. How much is the peanut butter? 80. Oh, okay, that's good. 80. Oh, that's really that's a really good price. <laughs> I'll just try this one first to see if I like it. I'll get the big one next time. I probably shouldn't do this all of the time but I'm always making comparisons between the Philippines and Thailand and in the Philippines peanut butter is definitely cheaper in Thailand I usually say no to peanut butter because it's too expensive but I'm hot and it doesn't look like it in this video but we've done a lot of walking today so I'm gonna get back have a cup of coffee thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one Come on, you